Welcome to this GIFWorks quick video. My name is Jonathan Lehman. I'm going to be showing you the new customizable mailing table feature available in GIFWorks 2010. GIFWorks 2010 is the latest release of GIFWorks and it was released on September 8, 2009. Prior versions of GIFWorks did include the ability to have and include mailing tables in your mailing letters. The new feature for GIFWorks 2010 is that you now have some ability to customize and personalize those tables um, for your organization's needs. So I'm going to show you that. Let's start by signing into GIFWorks. We'll go to the mailing section and we'll start by showing a donation mailing. So we'll send mailing to a list. We'll go to smart list. We'll pick all donations. Send mail to those do for those donations. Yes to continue. And I'm going to choose the option that uh, includes one mailing per donor. So if a donor has multiple donations, they would all be included in one letter and included in, it could be included in a donation table. So I'm going to click Next. We'll go through the recipient list. We'll include all those recipients. I have a donation letter here that is basically structured so that it has my you know, basic information I want to include in that letter. And it has the address and so forth and their citation. But I have a, a spot here where I want to add the uh, donation table. It's going to be a, a, a summary of all their donations. So uh, the donations that are included in this, this, this smart list, this mailing that I included. So I'm going to go to, to donation fields and put, pick donation table customizable. So you can see when I do that, it brings up a dialog that I can add a customized donation table. It shows me the list of columns, list of fields that are available for this donation table. By default, they will all be visible and they will be displayed in this order in the table. So the um, I may not want all that information, I may want it in a slightly different order. So let's say that in this case I want to hide the fund, the campaign is more important to me. Maybe I'm not really that concerned about the receipted amount. Uh, I, could, I could decide maybe the payment type is pretty important to me so I'll move that up to the top. So basically this table will include the, let me move the campaign just so it's Maybe more understandable, but the, the table will include the payment column, then the date, then the amount, then the campaign. So I click OK. I want to show you that you know this can be customized per letter. Not that you would normally put the same table in the same letter twice, but you could. Let me just show you how I could bring that, I could add that table again. And this time I could decide to include, maybe just hide these last two fields, because um, sorry. Hide this field and this field. Hide the campaign and payment. So um, um, shortly I'm going to show you what that looks like. But let's say that I decided I needed to edit that. Um, these customizable, customizable donation tables or any of these customizable tables, you can right click on them. It gives you an option at the top to edit the customized table. You can bring it up and you could change those options, which would only be, um, it's only relevant for that particular letter. These, these uh, tables are, are letter specific. So let's click OK. Let's see what that looks like. We'll go ahead and say Next. We'll preview our letters. And we'll kind of see what that looks like. See how the first one has the payment method over here, date amount in the campaign. The other one has date amount, receipt amount, and fund. I mean, kind of just go through the letters here. You can see here's one that has multiple donations. So you can just kind of see how I was able to customize that according to maybe the needs for my organization, maybe the needs for that particular type of letter. Maybe for that letter I'm sending out, it was for a particular campaign, so you, the campaign is important for you. Maybe in some cases it's the fund. Um, so whatever your uh, particular needs are for your organization. There are two other tables that are customizable. So we'll go to the next one, which is pledges. Send mail to a list. Well, again, we'll, we'll pick all pledges here. Send me off those pledges. Kind of just go through the initial screens here. Here's all my pledges. So again, I have a basic pledge letter that's waiting for me to insert a table right here, which will show the payments for each pledge. So let me pick a pledge table customizable. Let's say on this one, I just want it to be a very basic amount. I really don't care about the fund, the campaign. Maybe just the payment, uh, maybe the payment method. So we'll put that up there. Okay. Give a little space there. Click OK. And we'll 
Model Preview. So you can see how basically it included that, that basic information. Let me show you how you could go back. You say, no, that isn't quite the way I wanted that to look. Sorry, I went back one step too far. You say, no, I didn't really like, you know what, I probably changed my mind. I'm going to edit this. I probably, you know, I probably should include uh, the fund. So you show that. Back in. Preview it. And you'll see now it includes the fund. And the last one I'm going to show that I, I'm, I'm showing you right now. I've been showing you editing those letters during the mailing process. Also, show that you can actually you can actually go into a letter and you could save it in your letter library and permanently save it. So I could edit it here. I'm going to be showing you an honorarium and memorial table next. So I want to actually modify my letter. I have a spot here. I want to put uh, the list of all the donations for a particular honorarium or memorial. So I'm going to pick up. I'm going to include that table. Um, honorary table, customizable. So sometimes when uh, people are doing honorary mailings and they're um, mailing to people that um, maybe are managing that honorarium or interested in who is giving to that, um, sometimes they might not want to include the amount. Maybe the donors have said, we don't want that amount reported. Maybe some organizations say, we you know, will include the amount on that letter. So it gives you some flexibility. So in this case, let's say we just want to, uh, we, will include, we won't include the amount. We'll hide that. We'll show the donor the date that they gave and the address. Maybe, maybe that person wants to contact them and thank them. I'll just show you how we'll do another one here on the same letter. I do, you would normally do it the same on the same letter, different table on the same letter, but we'll say in this one we will um, include the amount, maybe hide the address, and uh, we'll just rearrange the word a little bit here. We'll put the donor down here. Okay, so we'll save it. We'll write it in our letter library. So now that we have a letter that has those customizable tables on it, they're saved with that letter. So if I go into mailings, and I print, uh, go to the honorarium and memorial notifications mailing, and I pick this uh, in memory of Michael Duvall, brings up my mailing, brings up the list of donors who want to be notified for that uh, memorial. I pick my letter. There's my two tables. I could go in here if I needed to, and I could edit those, like I showed you before. Okay. I'm going to cancel my edits. I'm going to just go forward, and we'll see how that table, the two different versions of that table, one that includes the donor date and the address, and one that includes the date and the amount and the donor name. So it gives you an idea of how you can take um, three tables, the honorarium table, the pledge table and the donation table, and for different types of letters, different types of mailings, you can customize those according to your needs. So we hope that this new feature um, gives you some more flexibility in, in your communication with your donors, allows you to be a little bit more specific in the information that you're sending them, including on those letters. And we thank you for watching this video, and we hope that in some small way, GiftWorks uh, helps you accomplish the mission that your organization has been called to.